Guys, what's up? How's it going? It's Josh. Um, for those of you who might not know me or whatever, uh, I do a weird, like, paranormal channel here on YouTube. Uh, but today I want to talk about something entirely different. Uh, today I want to talk about the Light Phone 2. Um, this has become my daily driver as far as cell phones go. This has become my phone. Uh, for the last six months now, uh, where I have used nothing but exclusively this phone. And I mean, I'm, I'm trying obviously this whole like, you know, digital detox type stuff. Uh, I've completely remo my, removed myself from all forms of social media other than here on YouTube, obviously. But as far as Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, I mean, all of that stuff, it's, it's gone. I nuked it, all of it. Um, but this right here, guys, this has become my, my go-to device, um, which has been so interesting. Um, obviously like going into this whole thing, there, there's certain things that we need to talk about, obviously, right? First of all, with the light phone, you have like this insanely small device, um, where you pull it out of your pocket or whatever, if you're around friends or what have you, and you're answering a text message or what, what not, um, like people are going to kind of look at you like, what, like, what is that? Right. And then you, you show them. And the one, the one experience that I have had, um, as far as all of my friends and all of that is like, yeah, sure. They like to kind of make fun of you at first. Right. And they'll kind of poke fun or blah, blah, blah. But then they get curious and they want to dig around and they want to look at the phone and how it behaves and all of this stuff. Guys, like this is an insanely cool device. Um, it does everything that I need it to do. Uh, I have used the directions tool briefly. Um, but only walking. I have not used it while driving or anything like that. I do have a standalone uh, Garmin device that I purchased. And anything else, guys, anything else that I need to do, I check my email a few times a day. Um, and that's that. Like, it is a breath of fresh air to be removing yourself from that. Um, I guess from that social media, whatever. It's like, yeah, you still get your news, you still get all that stuff. Here's, here's the stuff that I want to really talk about, right? When I initially shut everything off and I went 1000% with this phone, there's a few things that I noticed. And the first was this very odd anxiety. And I guess the anxiety was more or less like, it felt like you're missing something like, Oh, I, I don't know what, uh, what so-and-so is up to online. I don't know what post this person is going to make or that person's going to make or what have you. And then what's, what's kind of a magical thing, like for about a week, no kidding for about a week, I went through that. Um, and then this weird thing happened where it's just like, you're not missing anything. Like you have this realization that you're not missing anything. I'll, I'll kind of walk you through my experience real quick. Um, when I noticed I had an issue and, and wanted to really explore this digital detox thing, I noticed the way I was thinking was different. And I'll explain that a little bit better. So I was um, actually, I was mowing the grass and I was listening to a political podcast and immediately after something was said in my brain, I was like, I should post about that. But how would I post about that? What would I say in that post specifically? What things could I say in that post um, to, to really make it hit, right? And that right there that I kind of stopped myself. And I was like, what are you doing? Like you're quite literally thinking as a post, you're thinking in the form of a post, which is an issue. Um, so I cut the cord, so to speak, right? And 
took myself out of the equation. And ultimately, this has been a wonderful experience for me. Now, I will also say that texting is a little difficult sometimes. Um, and I'll show you what I mean here. I, I will pull up a, uh, a thread, if you will, uh, from my buddy Blake. And I will go ahead and act like I'm going to text him. Well, it goes from this mode to then the landscape mode. And I'm not sure how well you guys can actually see this or whatever, but it goes to a landscape type of mode where you have the keyboard down here. So the keyboard lives down there, but you also have this really cool thing. Now I will say it is difficult sometimes to, to text on this. You're certainly not going to be texting fast, that's for sure. But if you do need to get to somebody quickly, there's this really cool feature up top there. It's that little microphone icon that you just tap that and it will allow you to then voice to text, um, which I will say, like some of the things that I have to say and all of that stuff in, in replies to text messages or whatever, sometimes can be quite obscure. This thing is like dead on, okay? So it's, it's fascinating to me. Um, all in all, this has been a wonderful experience for me. Um, I would urge anybody who is thinking about maybe picking up a light phone too, or even something similar or whatever, I would strongly urge you to do that. I would also strongly urge you to really take a hard look at this device because it is phenomenal. Um, again, I've been using it for six months. For what I paid for this device, which was only, I think, uh, $300, right at $300 uh, US dollars, um, I kind of expected or half expected anyway that Oh, this thing will last for six months to a year or what have you, and then it will just kind of, you know, kind of peter out, right? So far, this thing has been an absolute workhorse, and I take calls and texts all the time, and this thing is caught up. It is, the, the one thing that you miss, I will say, is when somebody texts you like an image or a, a link. Uh, a lot of my friends like to send me uh, YouTube links or maybe a link from a video from like a, a site like TikTok or something like that. I don't know. Uh, what it does do is it just forwards it right to your email. So it's just, it's pretty seamless really. And so you can just get into your email, which you're going to do anyway, and you can check what they sent you and all that. It's, it's really cool. And again, I will also say the majority of the time, you're really not missing anything. Usually it's a stupid GIF or, or something of the sorts, right? So really not missing much. Um, guys, I'm telling you, take a check, like take a look at the Light Phone 2. You will not be sorry, I promise. If you are considering making that leap into like this whole digital detox thing or just using this as a secondary type of a phone where you can remove the SIM card, pop in the SIM card, and, and go, this would be cool. This would be very, very cool. Um, that way you're still connected and not connected at the same time. So it's it's been an amazing journey so far. I am going to continue to use this. I promise I will also, like if they ever come out with a light phone free, I'll probably be first in line to get that as well. Um, I really, really enjoy this device and that was it guys i just wanted to make this quick little video kind of explaining my journey thus far with the light phone i will be making more i've made a few videos that you can already check out uh in the past check them out if you want to whatever if you want to if you're into weird crazy like paranormal type content as well and you want to see me get scared and freak out and run and all that fun jazz Maybe hang out too, check out the, the site a little bit more, um, check out the page, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. But guys, thank you so much for your time if you made it this long, and we will talk to you all very soon. Peace.